Hey, Catherine here. It's February 17th, 2018, but the video project is from this Christmas. And the reason I'm making this intro is because either A, I forgot to make it uh, on, during the project, or B, I deleted it and lost it. So anyways, here is the intro. I'm going to show you how I made a raccoon proof uh, bird feeder that works because now we've had it for quite some time and we sat out and watched a raccoon once trying to get onto it. So anyways it starts with just basic store bought bird feeder arm which has these uh, swivels in it. So you mount it up on your deck post or a post out in your yard and then you swivel it back in to load the feeders on the end. Alright so I did use a welder for this but I believe you can use two small pipe clamps on the ends and just use a larger PVC pipe on this to make the same thing work for you. So basically it's going to be extended out about three feet I bend it down just a little so it's not so high and it has done a good job so let's see not only how to put it together but some of the results let's check it out first step is I cut the hook off just like that I'm hoping this is gonna be our Christmas gift tomorrow some bird singing so now I took and I ground down about 12 13 inches on this one and that one now I'm going to put them together and weld them. All right, I had a slight change of plans. Originally, I was just going to weld it like this, but then I thought it might be too much stress on this joint. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to weld it all the way across, and I'm going to connect it right there and create a triangle here for support. That should be way more than enough. Uh, to support a couple bird feeders. There's a quick look at how it's going to weld up right here at the base and then I'm going to fuse those two together and it should be plenty strong then. Okay the welds are a little bit ugly but it's a farm here. They only have to do two things. One is hold the weight of a raccoon if it should be able to climb all the way out and two hold a you know five or four pounds of bird seed you know, all the way out here. Okay, so now I'm leveling this piece here that goes on your uh, 4x4, in my case on the deck, just so I see how it's going to set so that I can get this hook on there, you know, fairly close to straight anyways. Okay, folks, this is real world. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I was so excited to get a really nice weld on here that I forgot to put the PVC tube on there. So, now I have to cut this off and redo it all. I got such a beautiful connection there too. I was so proud. Sheesh. All right, here we are. It's too bad I have to redo this end because my back's killing me already after only a half hour, but it's ready for paint. I got it mostly cleaned off, so we're gonna give it a shot of uh, black paint first. And then we're going to slide the PVC pipe on, then I'm going to weld that hook on, and then it will be done. So, forged in fire, baby, right there. We'll see how good the welds do here when the first coon gets on there. I think it'll work. All right, here's the finished product. So you got it mounted on your deck post, and it, it notches in like that, so you could bring it in. Uh, to put the stuff on it and here we got the hook of course now that I'm looking at it it's a smidge crooked but I'll bend that so the theory here is the raccoon tries to grip on this and he can't grip so stay tuned we'll see if it works all right and here's an after look of the bird feeder we're gonna test it out and see if I need to make it longer or not and we may paint that PVC black, we're not sure yet. But let's see if we get any new customers eating out of the bird food. We got a lot of cardinals, they're on the ground right now. This is what Mrs. Capper was really looking forward to. 
for cardinals.